if you're a mom who has been trying to grow your daughter's hair but you don't know how in this video i'm going to teach you how you can literally do nothing but grow your child's hair and the secret the number one and the only secret is length retention maybe not the only secret but the most important secret is length retention because think about it is your child growing is she looking healthy are you constantly cutting her nails for me, I cut my daughter's nails like every other week. Are you cutting your daughter's nail every week or every other week? If the answer to all of this is yes, when then do you think that your child's hair is not good? What's up sisters? Good day and welcome to my channel. My name is Fiva Ungu and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you mommies who has been or daddies or aunties who has been trying to grow a child's hair or your child's hair. But you don't know how maybe you've been trying and it's not you think it's not growing in this video i'm going to share with you practical steps that you can incorporate in her regimen to grow her hair longer and healthier okay guys so if you watch to the end of this video i'm going to be sharing with you the tools the product that i used back then and also some hairs that i started incorporating recently that have made a difference on her hair all right so keep on watching so Without further ado, let me quickly share with you the steps that I took. But before then, let me tell you a story, I don't know, a throwback of how it all started. So back in 2020, November 2020, I cut my daughter's hair. Like, I barbed the hair. Like, I, <laughs> I literally cut off all her hair. This is not big chop or mini chop. Like, I barbed off her hair. And then 2021, I think around May, April, May, June, something like that, we then started growing her hair. We started, started by doing this buff off. If I can see the picture, I'm going to put it on the screen. So that was how we started growing her hair. And now, 2023, her hair has grown to mid back length from the last time that I, I, that I checked, which was, I think, early this month, this December. So I think that is a good length. So here I'm going to be sharing with you practical steps that I did not even knowing that I was doing something but the hair was growing the most important thing that I was doing for her back then was that we had a regimen I didn't even know when I built the regimen I mean it just fell in line every two, two weeks I would wash her hair and that's because she's a child right so she plays now after no matter the kind of um, hair that I made for her after two weeks I assume that it is rough then I will take it down now I cannot install a new hairstyle on her without washing her hair so it's pra it practically became our regimen so I'll take down her hair wash it then install a new hair that's what we were doing that was what we were doing back then I think that was the basic thing that was the base of her how her hair started growing now for us because hair does not grow on a dirty environment so the first step or the first tip is to be gentle when taking care of your child's hair why is it so important to be gentle while taking care of your child's hair? Because like I said earlier, if you are constantly having to trim your child's nails, chances are your child's hair is growing, chances are your child is healthy because these are the signs that show that your child is healthy, right? If your child is growing, if they are looking okay, if you are not constantly having to take them to the hospital for one sickness or the other. So your child is healthy, right? And a healthy child's hair should grow. But the reason why you're not seeing any growth, you're not seeing anything is because you're not being gentle. It's because you're ripping the length that she must have accumulated. That is why it's important to be gentle. All right? So that's my first tip for you. Be gentle when you're taking care of your hair, your child's hair. When you're managing her hair, don't be in a hurry. Then you start, you know, gripping the hair the way you're not supposed to. You start dragging the hair the way, the, the way that you're not supposed to. So that's the first tip and that's the first practical tip that I want you to take. Now the second tip is to detangle your hair, your child's hair properly. These are the things that I was doing um, while, when I started taking, when I started growing her hair. And the reason why I said that you can literally do nothing and grow your child's hair was because I didn't see it as work. I didn't see it as, there was no, I had no um, hair goal in mind. I had no, I don't know, I was not expecting anything. but. I, I have to be gentle while taking care of her hair and detangle her hair properly just so that she doesn't cry because she was always crying whenever you touch her hair so i had to look for every way possible to make sure that sh she's calm that she doesn't cry or fuse when i'm taking care of her hair right but 
not knowing that all of these things that I was doing was contributing to the length and growth of her hair. So number one, like I said, be gentle. That is the most important thing, be gentle. Then the other tip falls in line with you being gentle with her hair. So the second tip is the tango with care and the tango in sections, right? How, why is it important to the tango in sections? If you gather the hair at once, it's going to feel bulky and you're probably not going to you know take your time and so you're going to cut her hair so that is why it's important that before you detangle her hair section it according to the size of her hair section needs maybe like four or five or six right so that that way it will be easier for you to detangle her hair properly and then the other tip that i have for you is to moisturize your child's hair now detangling her hair please don't do it dry to detangle her hair, please apply some sort of moisture. I can never ever take care of natural hair. Say that I want to detangle a natural hair without any sort of moisture. And water was the only moisture that I was using back then. I mean, back in 2021, 2022. So I will just put, use water and detangle her hair. Now, how can you moisturize her hair? You can use water. You can use a good living conditioner that contains water as the first ingredient then sealing with oil these steps are important let's take it again so first be gentle when you're taking care of your child's hair second detangle in sections and while detangling please moisturize your child's hair all right moisturize your child's hair using water this is the basic um moisturizer that you can find water and you can find it anyway don't have to buy it i'm sure that you don't have to buy it so if you don't want to use water because some say that water breaks off their hair i don't know about that but if you don't want to use water please um invest on a very affordable living conditioner that contains aqua as the first ingredient all right then sealing with oil or butter okay so if you're doing these basic things that i've mentioned there's no how we are not going to see length because like i said the first and the most important thing is making sure that you are retaining the length that your child is growing out. And the second thing is making sure that your child's hair is well hydrated, well moisturized and well hydrated. So I always like to liken our natural hair to plants, right? You have to constantly, you know, moisturize it, but don't overdo it because there's something called moisture overload. So moisturize it as that when do when you notice that it, it is dry well moisturized hair will not break and if your daughter's hair is not breaking it's going to retain length as long as you're being gentle when you're managing if your child is not losing hair when you're installing or taking down her hair then why will your child not see length why will the, the hair not grow and your child is healthy so the hair will definitely grow so the next thing that i want to also mention is please don't do tight hairstyles know that we want our child to look cute i know that we want them to you know appear beautiful but then you don't have to use tight hairstyles to do that you don't have to use tight hairstyles to achieve all of that there are other hairstyles that you can do that are super cute without you know applying so much tension on your child's scalp okay if you finish installing your child's hair and she's crying too much even after you release your hand from her hair that hair is tight that's another tip that you can you know try to do try to do try to incorporate to see if there will be some changes and i assure you there will be some changes okay all right beautiful sisters i hope that you enjoyed this video so far if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a like all right now before we continue before i share with you guys the tools and the, the products that i use including the herbs i am going to share with you guys the mistakes that i made that caused or that affected my daughter's hair the first mistake was so back then i was learning how to make it i am still learning how to make it <laughs> but i was learning how to make hair so I will use my hair and my daughter's hair to learn how to make hair and when I'm trying to make her hair the best hairstyle that comes easy for me was this one with elastic band not knowing that my daughter's hair could not withstand that sort of tension so how it affected my daughter's hair was that my, her hair became very very thin which was more obvious in the front that was the first mistake or that was the mistake that I made that affected my daughter's hair but by God's grace when I discovered 
that it was affecting her hair i stopped and then her hair recovered that is why i said please don't use don't um, put too much tension on your daughter's cap don't put don't do hairstyles that are tight just so you want her to look cute it doesn't have to be tight to look beautiful all right the second mistake that affected my daughter's hair was not watching out for who makes who touches her hair so you know that i said i was learning how to make hair which means when i want a beautiful style that i cannot make by myself i'll take her to the salon right so on this particular day um i called this lady to come and make my daughter's hair and the lady made this beautiful style that i could never even see now i'm not sure i can make that style <laughs> but after a month when i was about to take down the style i noticed that my daughter the back of her hair chopped off like literally chopped off like it was bad like i almost cut off her hair that period because i was like where do i even begin to do this how do i even start growing this hair back but then i decided that okay i'm going to give it some time if it doesn't recover then i'm going to bag it off and start again oh my god but thankfully the hair came back now you just have to you don't have to do all of these things this, that is why i'm sharing my mistakes so that you don't have to make the same mistakes okay not everybody's hand is good for your hair and if you find out someone whose hand is good for your hair please don't change you don't have to change um stylists constantly if you don't need to if it's not necessary please don't keep changing stylists constantly because it's you don't know the one whose hand is going to affect your hair, your child's hair. Now, if I remember any other um, delay or mistake, I'm going to put it in the comments. Um, comments. <laughs> I'm going to put it in the comment section, all right? So here are the simple tools and products that I used back then. So the first tool is spray bottle. Very simple, common thing. You don't even have to buy it if you don't want to. You can just, if you have a, if you have a used perfume, that is in a spray bottle spray container you can use it as your spray bottle your water your hair spray bottle all right the second is a white tooth comb i use a white tooth comb and then i used uh, a cutting comb like the smaller comb with a, a tiny tip the last one was the dangling brush and that the dangling brush i didn't even start using it from that early stage i introduced it last year 2022 okay so you can do it at the tangling brush i noticed that it makes the tangling my daughter's hair much more easier like brushing smoothing smoothing her hair much more easier all right but the earlier stage i mean early um 2022 even i didn't i was not using it so yeah these are the three basic tools you don't need much all right now the product that i used back then so the first is water i've mentioned it before water is such a universal moisturizer that you can get anyway and then i use mega growth leave-in conditioner as at that time it was so that's 500 per i think 200 ml container so it was quite affordable and it was super super effective for my daughter's hair like i will apply it on her hair and her hair will be so soft now remember to work in sections guys it's very important the last products that i was using then was shea butter guys these are the three basic things that i used to grow out my daughter's hair from the beginning so here is to tell you that you don't need so much products you don't need so much things to grow your child's hair all you need is basic technique which is making sure that you are detangling with care that you're not breaking off your child's hair and also making sure that you're applying moisture making sure that your daughter's hair is hydrated if your child's hair is well hydrated your child's hair is not going to break and you don't need to break the bank to hydrate your child's hair to moisturize your child's hair like i said you can even use just water plain water and shea butter and it will still work okay so i've shared with you the tips sorry the tools and the products now let me share with you guys some herbs that i started incorporating this year that i have seen great results on her hair also okay the first time i'm going to share with you now is cloves yeah cloves are very beneficial for the hair rosemary we're using rosemary on her hair fenugreek there's even a carrot mix some of these things are in my channel already please go check them out i have used lavender water and i've used rice water oh my god her hair loves rice water i mean the first time that i used it i noticed how smooth her hair was when it dried i've used aloe vera on her hair if you want to see how i use these things please stay tuned to my channel don't forget to subscribe because this 2024 I'm going to be doing some more challenges. I'm going to be serious with these herbs on both my 
four years old child and two years old my two years old child her hair is very short now so i'm going to be doing all of that to see in it like experiment all right so if you want to see what happens or you want to join us on the challenge please subscribe to my channel so that you would be uh, and click on the notification board <laughs> Click on the not notification um, button so that you'll be notified when I upload a video on the challenge. All right. So now, let me be fair. I know that some moms are very busy. Some are working class mommies, and it's not easy to you know create special time for taking care of your child. Say. Now, some what I would recommend or advise that you do is don't let it look like work. Just make it a habit. The way that you take care of their skin, I mean, the way that you do their skincare routine. But just make sure that those things that you need, even the, if you're going to be using herbs, the tea, the infused water, make sure that it's close by, alright? When you're, after applying cream on their body and all of that, just spray some water on their hair when, it's, when it is necessary. I'm not saying you should do this every day, alright? So apply, um, apply the moisture on their hair massage their scalp with oil, sealing with leave-in conditioner and hair butter or hair oil or hair pomade, whichever one that you have and cover with bonnet. It is important also <clears throat> it is also important that your child sleeps on a bonnet. Alright? That was yes. That was another mistake that I made. That I am still making till now. The mistake that I'm still making till now honestly I she's sleeping on bonnets but sometimes on my own end i forget right so if you can get like a satin pillowcase or bed spread for them better so that i don't have to forget to wear them bonnets which will then affect their hair because then you will start noticing at the back of their hair that it will not start chopping and all of that it will dry out the moisture that you manage to manage to you know put on their hair especially if you're a busy mom who doesn't even have time to do all of that often so these are the tips the practical steps that i have used on my daughter's hair and i've seen great results that have helped us so far so sisters i am convinced that your child's hair is growing but to convince you i need you to do those things that i've mentioned in this video all right and do some more research because sometimes you will try this and it doesn't work you have to try another another way because the hair, our hair is not the same. It is different and it is unique on its own. So it doesn't, what works for my child might not work for your child. That is where the research comes in. If you have time, please do some more research. But most especially, I want you to take a picture. Take a picture of her hair now and then compare it in months time, like six months time, give it time, three months to six months to one year. Because I tell you, if I didn't have a video or picture showing all of this, you would not actually know that there is something. <laughs> For example, I saw a picture of her hair around June this year. I think June year where I dragged, I, I just I measured her hair. And then when I compared that picture to this December picture, I was like, wow. I didn't even know that there's this difference, right? So it's important that you document, take some pictures to compare and measure your progress. All right. All right. I hope that you enjoyed this video so far. If you do, please don't forget to leave me a comment in the comment section. Tell me some of the challenges that you have. Tell me some videos that you want me to make. All right. And I'll be sure to make to film those videos for you. So sisters, thank you very much for watching my video. I will see you all in my next one. Compliments of the season. I'm sending you all a visual hug. I love you all. Thank you for support. Thank you for your love and everything that you've shown my channel so far. God bless you. And I'll see you in my next one. Ciao, ciao.